Hey, what's up everybody? Akeem here and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, a new challenger approaches in the latest Deadpool and Wolverine teaser and he's ready for a fight. Now, speaking of fighters, Sony Pictures and Capcom may have announced a date for their upcoming Street Fighter movie, but who's gonna make the dang thing now that the directors have left the project? All this and more in today's Fix. <laughs> Now, in a new teaser for Deadpool and Wolverine, Sabretooth makes his return to take on Logan. Now, in the trailer, we see Wolverine ready to take on his rival, while Deadpool does his very best to cheer him on. Wait, 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 wait! Time! You look ridiculous. While also relieving him of those sharp stressors he placed in him. Yeah. Now, actor Tyler Maine is reprising his role here as Sabretooth, one of the first mutants we saw in the 2000 X-Men movie, and the first to fight Wolverine. Now, of course, this isn't the first movie to feature Deadpool, Wolverine, and Sabretooth. All three characters appeared in X-Men Origins Wolverine. That's the, the one where, you know, they decided to take Deadpool, the chattiest guy in the Marvel Universe, and sew his mouth shut. Yeah, now they made him look like Baraka from Mortal Kombat. Now, fortunately, DP cleaned that timeline in Deadpool 2. Hey, it's me. Don't scratch. Now, there's guaranteed to be more familiar faces for all you true believers out there when Deadpool and Wolverine hits theaters July 26th. Round two, or story number two. Sony Pictures is hitting the pavement with the release date for its Street Fighter movie. Now expect to see Ken Ryu and the other combatants battling it out in theaters on March 20th, 2026. But will that release date hold? Like no writer or cast members have been announced and what's more, news recently broke that Talk To Me directors Danny and Michael Filippo are no longer attached to direct the project due to scheduling conflicts. Now we're less than two years out from that 2026 release date, so Sony better move quick if they want to produce a movie that'll actually do right by fans and not turn into another Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li situation. Yeah, let's not talk about that any further. And finally, HBO is conjuring up a new Harry Potter series. Mark Mylod has joined the series as director, Francesca Gardner will serve as writer, and both will get executive producer credits on the show. Now, if you're a fan of the critically acclaimed Succession series, well, those names should be familiar to you. Now, the Succession alums got the stamp of approval from Harry Potter creator J.K. Rowling. Posting to Twitter, she said, quote, I'm truly thrilled to announce our director and writer, both of whom I interviewed as part of the production team. Both have a genuine passion for hashtag Harry Potter and having read Francesca's pilot script and heard Mark's vision, I'm certain the TV show will more than live up to expectations. Well, that's great news. Yeah, pretty sure some folks would be thrilled to hear how she feels about the upcoming series. Yeah, that's that's called sarcasm. Yeah, anyways, the HBO show is a fresh take on the novels with reports pointing to each season of the series adapting one of Rowling's Potter books. And no, you shouldn't expect to see Daniel Radcliffe de-age using computer technology. And really, why would you want to see that? That's just weird and terrifying. And that was your Fix for Entertainment news for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Thank you for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous video. And don't forget to check out our coverage of Gamescom Latam. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN. <laughs>